Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of money, specifically how we can skip count by tens, by fives, and by twos to count coins, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So in first grade, we're only going to count collections of coins that have dimes, nickels, or pennies. That's what you see on the screen. It's a big pile of coins. And sometimes if it's actual money, you can spread things out. But if you ever have to do something on the computer or maybe on a piece of paper and it's a picture of money, here is how you can organize your coins so that you can easily count them. You always start by finding which coin has the highest amount of money. Right now it's the dime. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put little X's on these dimes. And then I'm just going to write the letter D. Then I'm just going to put a circle around it. So that's going to represent my dime. I don't want to try to draw a picture of it, but I can draw the letter D and then I can draw a circle around it. So like it's a coin. So I've got another dime right there. We have to recognize both the heads and the tails. So I've got another dime hiding back here behind that penny and that nickel. So there's another dime. And I think I've got one more back there. So, so far I've got four dimes. Now the next largest coin in terms of value is the nickel. The nickel is actually uh, a bigger size than both the dime and the penny, but it's not worth as much as a dime. So I've got a heads and a tails right there. Got a heads right there. And I've got one more back here. And then the last coin that we're going to look at is the smallest value. And that's the easiest one to find because it's the only one that's copper. It's these pennies right here. So we're going to put a P and then another P, and then we've got two tails back here. That's a P and that's a P. So I have a collection of coins that is pretty even. It's four dimes, four nickels, and four pennies. Now, how do we count this? Well, let's put values up on top of these. So these dimes are worth 10 cents. The nickels are worth five cents. And then the pennies are each worth one cent. So in first grade, we know how to skip count by tens. So we can skip count by tens, and we can just put our total down here at the bottom. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Now we're going to skip count by fives. So I'm going to draw a line here because we're changing from dimes to nickels. So 40. 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm going to put another line here because now we're switching over to pennies. And if we want, we can skip count by twos. That's something that we're, that we're learning in first grade. Or you can just count by ones, but that's going to be 62. And that's going to be 64. So we have 64 cents in our collection of coins. Let's see if we can count another collection. So we have a new collection of coins. And rather than writing a D with a circle, some of you might prefer to write the value with a circle. So rather than a D for a dime, I'm just going to write a 10, and that's going to represent my dime. So I'm going to pull out all my dimes here. And what this does is this goes ahead and gives me what I need to skip count by. So there's just two different ways to do this, and both work. I've got two dimes hiding down here at the bottom of this pile. So I've got a total of six dimes. This is a much bigger pile. Now we're going to go for our nickels. I've got two right there. So let me just write five and five. I've got two right here, another five, and another five. And then I've got two more. So it looks like I've got six dimes and six nickels. Let's see how many pennies we've got. One, two. I'm just going to write a one. Uh, we've got five pennies. So six nickels, six dimes, and five pennies. Let's count it. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to write a 60 right there. 65, 6, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. And then we've got 92. 94, 95 cents.